Tulsa police say a woman shot her teenage grandson, then turned the gun on herself. News 8's Elizabeth Choi is at the Seymour Police Department with more on how police knew the grandma was responsible. According to detectives, the woman called 911, then shot herself all while on the phone. We want to warn you, some of the information in this story is graphic. 911, what's your emergency? An eerie phone call, even by 911 dispatch standards. 911, yes, this is Wanda Huber. A grandmother on the line. Police believe 68 year old Wanda Huber had just shot her teenage grandson in the head, then calmly called 911. Okay. There's been an accident. Well, actually, not an accident. It's been a murder. So I need you to come immediately. While on the phone, police say another gunshot went off. It's a tough situation to be in when you're on the other side of of receiving that call. Detective Sergeant C.J. Foster believes Huber then shot herself also in the head. And there was no further communication between the grandmother and our communications. Jean Hildreth lives right next door. She didn't realize at the time she was hearing gunshots. It just sounded like a real loud boom or something. What was happening behind closed doors? Nobody really knows, including Hildreth, who's known her neighbor for more than 40 years. She was a very, very good neighbor. Would do anything she could to help me out if I needed it, and of course I would do the same for her. When police arrived, Huber was dead. Medics rushed her grandson to a Louisville hospital. He died that night. According to Hildreth, for unknown reasons, Grandma had taken care of her grandson since he was a child. She absolutely adored her grandson. I can't, I just, I'm having trouble imagining this. Autopsies were scheduled for both grandma and her grandson for today. At this time, funeral arrangements have not yet been finalized. Of course, this is one we'll continue to follow and bring you updates as they're made available to us. But for now, from the Seymour Police Department, Elizabeth Choi, Wish TV, News 8.